Oh. Hello. There's Kim and Joe. I'm here. Hello. Oh, there's Jay. So Cameron, Jay is going to be joining us just by phone. Yep. Okay. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, I think Jay's there. Uh, the person's yeah, there. She's there. Yep. And yeah, I'm here. Oh, you're there. Okay, good. Good, good, good. All right, perfect. The whole gang's here, except for Todd, he's muted. There he's not anymore. We're waiting for Brian. One more guest here. One more? Okay. Kim is muted. I am not muted. There nope. we go. Nope. <laughs> um, may I ask a favor? Sure. I don't know how this starts, but um, as you as it starts, I'm going to just interpret a moment and tell people that right now this isn't captioned and that we will have it on YouTube for it to be seen later with captions. You can certainly do that. Jackie and I kind of open up and do a little bantering back and forth before we actually bring the guests on. So yeah, you'll have plenty of time. Because I'm on this, do you mind actually saying just a little something at the top that says that so then I'll be interpreting you guys sure. instead of it looking like it's just coming from me. Totally. And because my all of my watch party people, I have a very wide berth of, of viewers. And so That's they're gonna, very cool. I'd nice. rather welcome, I'd rather welcome can... them and say, hey, we know this is a thing, than for them to be like, how is Joe on this? And she's not, nothing's happening. You know what I mean? Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If you want to sign the whole time, you're welcome to. It's up to oh, you. Oh, I don't. No. <laughs> okay. Um, because then say, that seems like yeah. a lot. <laughs> Um, well, that's an interesting, you know, you raise an interesting point. It will get a little confusing when I have to talk, but, um, hmm. <laughs> Jackie, we might have to go in another direction and you might have to learn how to sign. So that's that right. Well, I do know a little <laughs> bit of sign language, but not very much. <laughs> Is this interactive between all of us? Yeah, yeah. we're going to try and keep it organized. So. Just kind of respect who's speaking and, and kind of when we address it, it will get a little weird if we just don't set some of those rules up. So it's, Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, because the minute someone starts talking over another person, the volume goes down on both and it's kind of right. hard right. to hear. So. And then oh, we're, we, have, we have to listen very, very carefully for Shay. She's on a telephone line and then when we ask her a question or something, we've got to really get quiet because it's... All right. I haven't gotten Brian yet. I will. Here we hey, go. Stand by, guys. Are taking action into your consciousness by tuning into Contact Talk Radio. And on tunein.com, ping.fm, and upsnap mobile. Contact Talk Radio. Welcome to Life Mastery with Todd Allen, the talk radio show that dives into the science of higher consciousness. Join Todd and his guests weekly at 10 a.m. Pacific time and learn how to live a peaceful life with intentional mastery. Enjoy a survey of inspiring topics such as abundance, intention, health, manifestation, love, and transformation. It's all right here. Leading authors, speakers, coaches, entrepreneurs with stories and messages to support your well-being, let alone your most evocative of dreams hey 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 it's another groovy day and that's because today is life mastery radio day yay hey. one of my most favorite days of the week <laughs> jackie and i get together and bring you some great thoughts and ideas for you to use on your very own life mastery journey and today we also have Jo Welsh with us, and she will be kind of trying to keep up with some sign language. A lot of her <laughs> friends utilize that to communicate, which, you know, really has brought that capability to my attention. So Jackie you know, and I might explore that a little bit, maybe some closed caption or something for next year. But before we get started, as always, I like to get myself centered and situated and ready for a really, really big show. And let's just take a minute and stretch way up high, maybe wiggle those wrists and shake those fingers a little bit, roll those shoulders and just get stretched, get in the groove and get centered and situated. And let's take in a deep breath all the way down to those solar plexus, way down into the abdomen, 
and let that breath out with a big ah and just let it flow up through your heart center out of your speaker box and out into the universe or whatever it is that you believe just consciously consciously create a connection to that which gives you power with a big ah let's do that one more time and this time, think of those big dreams, visions, and goals. This is the start of a new decade and a huge potential for you to make a difference. What is it that you want to do? What is it that you want to call into your being? And let that out with a big ah, uh, and let that dream, vision, and goal just go right out to the universe. And for sure, allow the universe the opportunity to make that come true for you. Uh, uh, as always, I have my co-host with me today. She organized this entire show. She did a <laughs> she did a gig last week with a group of people, and it all revolved around not for profits, and it was a huge success. And Jackie gathered up some of those friends of hers that she I think I think they're new friends. Yeah, and we brand new friends to do a <laughs> show. So Jackie, how did that show? After, after the regular Life Mastery Radio show, you did another show. How did that show go? Yeah, that was uh, hashtag Giving Tuesday. <laughs> and Giving Tuesday happens the Tuesday after Thanksgiving. And it's been happening since about 2012. Grassroots effort that's now tremendous for the nonprofit community because it is the day when we hope that people will be generous and give to a nonprofit or a couple of nonprofits of their choice to help them to serve the people that their mission state wants them to or, or is designed to do. And uh, so we had a webathon last Tuesday with my new group of nonprofit peeps. <laughs> peeps. With the, the power of purpose. We're all members of a nonprofit organization that helps other nonprofits to become who they want to be and it's called the power of purpose and they hosted a webathon last tuesday that we were all a part of and so i did that as we finished our show i went on to another show and we were on facebook live i think for 15 hours or something like that last <laughs> tuesday yeah well cool. i think it was somebody famous that said where two or more are gathered i am there and that's the power of being in a group and you can see that power because you just started your nonprofit less than a month ago. Right. right? Yeah. And you're already starting to see some of the benefits. I mean, you've gotten some huge donations and things are rolling right along for you to just continue on doing and being with the message that you've created. Yep. We're out there to serve the kids and the adults, but mostly the kids because, um, our, the Speak, Feed, Lead project is about helping us all to be better communicators, to speak with power, to feed others in word and deed, and to lead with a positive influence. And my classes are quite popular, but I understand that there's lots of families who can't afford what I charge, and our nonprofit is going to open that possibility up yeah. for so many more people. That's very so cool. So the nonprofit is going to be paying that tuition for these children and making sure that they can be part of these classes all around the world, not just locally. But we want to eventually hire teachers that speak the language of the place that we're going to take these classes and, and have some teachers there that can teach these children in their own language. And it's just going to be an exciting adventure to be on. So. See, that's, that's the way a nonprofit can make a difference. So here we are. I got, I'm, going to hold, I, I'm going to put your feet to the part. No, I'm not really going to put your feet to the part. <laughs> But here we are, it's the end of a decade, right? A lot of yeah. people don't think of it that way, but it's true. That decade has, is going to end here very quickly. So what is your vision for the next decade, Jackie Bailey, with Speak, Feed, and Lead? Well, I'll tell, I will confess to our audience right here that I am, I am a person who lacks a clear vision. <laughs> And I'm a person that just takes action. I just think of something and, I'm like, and, I, and I start working hard at it and make it happen without always knowing what, can, what the possibilities really are. So I know that my vision right now is still in the infant stage because I just have a hard time envisioning the bigger picture. 
But like I said, I would really like to be the go-to organization for public speaking and leadership education for our youth all the way up through adult. And I would like that to be world renowned. And as I said, I'd like, I'd like to have programs all over the world that are helping our, our youth to be more empowered. Nice. Well, so bad. You know, that's a huge, that's a huge insight that you just shared because here's, here's, here's the picture. If you go out to your car, your car's in the driveway and you decide you're going to the grocery store because you need some bananas. <laughs> and on the way to the grocery store, you think, oh man, I need to go to the drug store for some aspirin. See? So you make that little side detour and there you meet a friend. Oh my gosh, the possibilities are endless. So that's kind of way dream building works. And yeah. as long as you have that end in mind, oh my gosh, the, the potential and the possibilities are just endless. So that's very, very cool. And so where can people find you? JackieBaileySpeaks.com, I think. Well, that is my for-profit business. Ah. But you can also find me at speakfeedlead.org. That is, that is the website for the Speak, Feed, Lead project. And you'll find a donation button there if you'd like to donate to our cause. If you can't do it financially, I am willing to take any item, clothing, automobiles, real Desk. estate, Desk, any chairs. desks, office furniture, whatever you feel that you can donate, whatever you have a surplus of and you need to get rid of, I'll take it. I'll resell it or give it to people who need it, use it, whatever. So don't be, don't be halted by your finances, but we do have a guest today that's going to help you with that, by the way. <laughs> good, thing so. you have, good thing you have a friend with a pickup truck, huh? That's no. right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's really, really Valuable. cool. And you know, this, you're, I've watched this thing grow and here's, here's, I'll, I'll be truthful and honest because I've watched this grow and it's been less than a year and it's grown so fast that I didn't even know that website was up yet. That's how quick this is. I mean, it's just boom, 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 boom. So it's very cool yep. to watch it all unfold. And I, be I better get on the ball. You better get on, on the ball. I better get on, on, my on the ball. <laughs> <laughs> yep. All righty then. So let's move right along. We have some really cool guests. Jackie, did you want to say a little bit more about our guests? Would you, how would you? We're, we're, Jackie and I are kind of off the cuff today, so just bear with us. <laughs> we are. Yeah. Um, I don't, we're still missing Brian. We were expecting Brian to be here and hope that Brian makes it. Maybe he, we should talk to Shay. Yeah. Shay, are, are you listening? I am. Okay. I'm here. All right. <laughs> Shay, how do you, you've got a very interesting name. Can you start by telling us what your heritage is? Oh, okay. So I'm the, uh, the Roma people. We are the European gypsies. Oh, great. So tell us how to, how to say your name. So, okay. I say it very slow. The first three letters, the C-S-E, that says you're American Che. So it, it's not as difficult as it looks. It's pronounced Cheska. 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 Very, very pretty. Che. Thank you. Cheska, Jael, Bozhigan. Wow. That sounds beautiful. And <laughs> you're working on you're working on a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. Um can you tell us a little bit about that? What you do? Yeah, the Cultivating Wellness Center. They concentrate on the health. That's a huge part of it. But whenever a patient comes to us, they really become a student. And so what we do is we teach three main things, natural medicine, natural building, and permaculture, because we want to take care of them full circle. And so how we do this is that we teach them how to understand their own body chemistry, because everyone is unique. So even if I have two type two diabetics that would come to me, they would both get a different treatment because their body chemistry is not the same. Everyone has their own unique body chemistry. And we show them how to go in and understand, you know, how to look at body chemistry. And with, um, with that mathematical equation that's in front of them, 
they learn how to eventually bring their body back into balance. And if they're on medication, you know, under their doctor's guidance and ours, uh, we can wean them off those medications and they can get their life back. Wow. That's, that's and, pretty amazing. Yeah, it, it really is. We have very high success rates. And people, once they really understand the science and the reason why, they tend to stick more with the program because they understand the body chemistry. And they say, oh, well, if I put this in my body or I eat or drink that, this is what it's going to do. So they think about that and they think, okay, they'll make a different choice. We also work a lot with the like the neuroscience of the mind, and by doing this, we're able to you know start to strip away those detrimental you know subconscious disempowering beliefs and habits, and we get them down to their core of who they really are. You know a lot of people life buries them, they forget who they are or what they once dreamed about or what they wanted to become, so we get them back to who they really are and also, the other benefit of, you know, knowing who you are, where you want to go, you get that clarity, and you also now are creating new neural pathways, and this helps you to stick on your wellness journey well after you leave our facility. Wow. So, Jay, what, 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 I, I'm having a hard time finding the words, what ailments, <laughs> what ailments do you typically see? What, what are people mostly, I don't, I, and I don't even want to give energy to suffering from, what are people experiencing? There we go. Okay, so basically we have every type of, you know, everything from genetic um, issues. And by the way, uh, if for anyone who's listening, I just want to get this out there to give you hope. Being told that it's, your, it's in your genetics and so too bad for you is a very old story that we now know is not true. Genetics can be changed. We work with the genome, and we know how to change genetics through natural pathways. We don't use any pharmaceuticals. We never use pharmaceuticals. Wow. And um, so, and the, the, the reason we're seeing, you know, we deal with a lot of mental illness, schizophrenia, anxiety, depression, you know, and as well as regular, all the regular, you know, diseases that we're seeing, you know, autism, cancers of all types, everything. It's because of, it's primarily due to the body is being so filled and, um, you know, so toxic. Our food is toxic, our water, our air. Yeah. Well, that's really so cool. We, yeah, so by going through some very natural pathways, we can start to reverse because all of these diseases we hear about, the cancers, the, the, the different types of diabetes, the Alzheimer's, dementia, lupus, all of these things, what they actually are, they're not, they're not a cause. They're simply a symptom of an... Of an... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't know if we lost her. And Kim, Kim went muted. There we go. Oh, I hope Shay comes back. Yeah, I think Jackie, we may have lost her. Do you know who, what, where her website? You know what? We're going to talk to all these amazing individuals this morning. Let's see if we can get Shay back. So let's see if we can get Shay back, yeah. and then we'll put her link on today's show page. Today's show For page sure. is at www.lifemasteryradio.net, and any links that we talk about today, we'll put up there. So we'll make sure we do that. I think Brian is trying to come in as now as well too, but uh, Brian, you are muted. And you can start your video if you'd like as well, Brian. There's Brian. Brian, can you hear us? I can hear you. Um, sorry, I have a brain injury. <laughs> you know what, Brian? We're not going to give that any energy today. You're here to tell us about your nonprofit. And guess what? Perfect timing because you're next up. What, what is the name of your nonprofit? And what is Hallelujah. it? Hallelujah. Uh, I'm involved with a group called Bison. Um, which is brain injury support, operational or neurological. And, and I, I swear, I died uh, just about two years ago and I came back with a brain injury. And this has given me new life. Uh, uh, John Byler was a, a, a big muckety muck with the Fidelity Investments, had a car crash, wound up with a brain injury. And um, 
he and I have become fast friends on this because uh, there are every year 1,500,000 traumatic brain injuries. And we walk around and people think we look fine. Yeah. We're not. I cry all the time. <laughs> I can't sleep. I got metabolic issues. My thermal regulation is whack. But uh, I'm a survivor and I intend to, to, to get through this as well. It looks well, like Shay came back. We'll we'll catch up with you, Shay, here in just a minute. Right now, we've kind of got Brian on a roll. Yeah, okay. I'm always <laughs> on a roll. <laughs> you know what, Brian? Jackie and I have done quite a few shows with our guests that talked about brain injury. And Jackie, I'm trying to remember that book about consciousness. Um, anyway. Young Man? Was it a young man? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It'll come to it. me. So, <laughs> so, Brian, tell us a little bit more about your not-for-profit and and how you reach out to people with brain injuries. Well, it's, it, Bison is just getting going, and we, we need your uh, uh, tax-deductible donations. But uh, we're going to be working on a shoestring budget to get out to raise awareness about people with brain injuries. Uh, uh, they want to bring people out to Heston, Can Kansas, to... Uh, uh, kind of a retreat to kind of go through this, hopefully repair uh, issues with with, with families because so many people, unfortunately myself included, wind up being divorced and abandoned by family members mm -hmm. because they don't get it. And and the suicide rate is huge. Um, mm -hmm. there's, there's a lot to be done and, and we are virtually invisible because we walk around looking like we're just fine and we're right. not. Yeah. All right. Well, Brian, we're glad that you're okay now. And we're glad that you're working towards such a great... Well, that's your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> so, Brian, where can, we're going to put all these links up, but in case anybody's interested in, in checking it out right now, because this is live on Facebook, we are connected to the internet. Where can people find you? Oh, I'm on Facebook. No, where um, can they find the Bison Project, though? Uh, Hey, I've got a brain injury. I don't know. <laughs> you know. Maybe maybe Joe can help us with that. Joe can help us. <laughs> or Google it, right? Google's Google your it. friend. Yeah. 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 Google, well, and this is this is Joe speaking. Let me just put something yeah. out in the final language so people understand what's happening. So I'm letting them know that I'm a speaker here, but that you're allowing me to go ahead and interpret. But also, I have some comments to make, so it's going to get a little awkward, and I'm really sorry. <laughs> you go for it, girl. We're, we're off the cuff today. The Bison Foundation has a website, and as you can imagine, it's called The Bison Foundation. Inside there, there is a donate button. As well, we have a Facebook page, The Bison Foundation as well. And those are going to be, especially the Facebook page, is going to be like kind of the hot center where everything comes from. So if you can find either of those, it will then link. Hang on one second. And thank you guys for your patience for allowing me to do both languages. I think Simultaneous is very awkward. I'm amazed by your talent. <laughs> Pretty cool. You too can <laughs> and do this too, right? Well, Brian, <laughs> I, I really appreciate you being on the show today. You, I you appreciate seem being like alive. a lot of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, Brian, Brian, is, is, do you think there's a book in you? Uh, as a matter of fact, the don't make me cry. The first <laughs> essay I wrote after coming out of my coma is about three guys with something in common. It's entitled Jesus, Lazarus, and Me. Because we all came back from the dead. I'm working on an invention that could get me a Nobel Prize. I thought that was the, the start. But, but Bison has, has brought me fully back to life. And I want to do a speaking tour and talk about it. Cool. Well, I think Thanks. you just started. You're on Life yeah. Mastery Radio today speaking to a huge group of people live, and then it will go out as a podcast, and an even bigger group will be notified that you are speaking live. So this is a great We need start. your money. Send it. <laughs> <laughs> That's very cool. Great. <clears throat> well, we also have Kim on the show today, 
And Kim is involved in another kind of nonprofit. So far we've had Che, who's talked about her cultivating wellness center. And Brian, who's talked about a brain injury and the Bison Foundation, which Very is cool. helping people with brain injuries. And let's switch gears for just a second because Kim has a nonprofit that's helping probably most of us, a difficulty that most of us have at some point in life, and that is with uh, regaining financial health. So welcome, Kim Cohn. Can you tell us a little bit more about what you're doing, Kim? Yes, and thank you so much for this opportunity, guys. Um, Rebound Financial Resources is the name of the company. It's a nonprofit. And the reason it was put together is because we have four friends that came together, two couples, my husband, um, Boaz, and of course, Jean and Linda. We decided, we've been friends for 30 years. We've seen each other go through different financial challenges and recuperate and bounce back. And that's our tagline, helping you bounce back. So we wanted to help people learn about finances, recoup, rebuild, and learn the things that were not taught in school. And I believe intentionally. I don't know about you, but I don't remember going to any class throughout my education about money, a checking account. Yeah, or how to manage it. Oh, I mean, none of that was shared. And so you're thrown out after getting college degrees, you know, be successful. Well, you look around, you're like, okay, well, how do I rent an apartment? How do I invest? How do I buy a car? Talk about this insurance thing. And we found that at the crux of all of this was the credit score. Because every single thing, and we just say just three digits, it has the Whoa. power of financial pain or financial power. And so we know that if your credit score, which is the beginning stage of financing, if your credit score is not a good score, then you're not going to be able to rent an apartment, buy a house, get good health insurance rates, auto insurance rates, even buy a car. Mm. I mean, it goes on and on and on. And even to the point that some people don't get employment because of their scores. Yeah. So we saw a trend and we're like, how can we help people get back or at least get the information that they need? So we decided to create this nonprofit and it has two, two prongs to it. One, we want to help the people that are hurting. But two, we want to be proactive and catching the kids early, laying the foundation of the information so they don't have to go down a financial pit in their lives and recover from. So part of that is we have helping the people through our financial successful curve that we created, where we sit down with individuals and we see where they are, where they wanna go, what their challenges and hurdles are, create a customized plan to get them there. And then we have classes and resources and tools or whatever they need to get them to that successful point. That's very cool. Uh, so is this designed just for the youth or is it for everybody? It's for everybody. Cool. Um, but again, we do want, we have a program that's at the core of our hearts um, that our CEO is really working on and it's called the Fostering Financial Freedom Program. And part of that program is helping the kids that are aging out of foster care. Because I didn't know that at the age of 18, you get a trash bag and you get 10 minutes to pack up your life. Wow. And I was like, you're kidding me. Because you're looking at a mom who homeschooled her kids, who got yeah. very involved in the educational process. So I'm like, what? You just put the kids on the street, no job, no resources, no tools, no nothing. So that's the program that we're doing for youth right now, which is called our FD. F3 program, which is fostering financial freedom. But yeah, we should be collaborating. <laughs> so, Kim, if, if you were to put it out there, <clears throat> this is called, this is something that I learned a very long time ago. It's called building a castle. And so, if you were to put it out there, what is one thing that comes to your mind that you need help with? The company or personally? Both. I, the, you're not for profit. Is there? Yeah, I mean, not for profit. Um, we just started. Yeah. So we are as, um, we started in September, actually. Uh, and that's when we joined um, the inner circle group with the power of purpose. And that's how we met Jackie and all these beautiful people here. And so um, we are learning 
we've had for-profit businesses and I still operate a for-profit company, but we want to be able to do more because there are people like Jackie mentioned earlier, they just can't afford what right. we offer. And so we want to have a place where, you know, there can be grants or there can be programs that they can come and participate and not have to worry about that financial commitment. So the castle building would be, since we're well, starting- uh, more specifically, if, if you're looking for somebody to help with web design or, I mean, now's your opportunity. Oh, oh I wish oh, this. A call for help. <laughs> I started Christmas an internet time. company. Bill Gates came to meet me. I can help you with that. <laughs> see? That's how it works. This is how it so, let's see. I'm wishing now. Well, fortunately, we have, because of my for-profit company, we have all that um, operational basic stuff. The website and all of that is put together. We're really at a point where we're looking for donations to help so that we can build these programs. Nice. And so that's really the Christmas wish for us. Um, okay. And for people that really want to do that, and I mean, donations can look like what Jackie mentioned. Uh, we love money, of course, but money is more than um, just the green dollar bills. It can be items and real estate and all of that as well. And you can do that um, by going to our website, which is reboundfinancialresources.org. And you'll see that little bright donate button. It's got a little heart and everything <laughs> on there. And um, we would be happy um, to, to get that help. And we can give of ourselves. Yes, absolutely. Well, and that's, that's another thought. You know, we might maybe with the non-for-profit you might even be open to people helping you know sort papers or file things or read drafts or you know i mean there's a whole multitude of different things that people can help with or donate with absolutely and to that end i wanted to say not only do we want to receive but i also want to give um and we want to help people because figuring out this credit score which is the thing to figure out. Um, there is a FICO system, and most people hadn't even heard of it, but it's the Fair Isaac um, Company that put together this magical, mystical system that scores your credit. And it's like hitting a moving target. And most people don't know, you know, the different pies. There are five pieces of the pie. Well, we have put together an ebook that will give you that whole system decoded. Mm -hmm. And we call it FICO Decoded. So we want to give that to your listeners. And they can get that book by emailing info at reboundfinancialresources.org. And put in the subject line, send me the book. And if you do that, um, we will get that right out to you. Because we want people to have this information. And once you have the information, then you can go through your life and figure out, how can I make changes to benefit me and my family? Very With my medical bill from last year, my FICO score is now in the double digits. Woohoo! Oh man, <laughs> that's not a good thing. And here's the thing: now they're not even supposed to be reporting medical things to your score. Mm. So we help people with that because some people don't even know that you know there are some things that legally should be reported and some things that aren't. And medical bills are one of them that legally should not be reported. Wow, that's very cool. Yeah. Well, Kim, thank you so much. We're we're gonna probably get to some questions for you in just a minute, but we got one more, right, Jackie? We've talked yeah, to her just about yeah, everybody. Joe needs to talk about another nonprofit that she's working with. She did a great job describing the Bison Foundation, but she's got another thing in the works. So Joe, you're on if you want to tell us about the Mystic River Theater Company. Woohoo! That sounds <laughs> cool. For anyone who's listening, there will be some silence. So in case it's not clear, What's happening is I am also, I uh, volunteered to be the interpreter for today. <laughs> and so how I'm going to try to do this right now, I'm talking and signing and that doesn't work. And my friends will let me know that I'm right. It doesn't work. <laughs> well, I'm going to do a chunk in sign and then a chunk in spoken. Is that okay? Go yeah. for it. Thank I you so much. So I'll try to fast. keep it moving and, and you guys can see me so you'll know when things are happening. So. So my name is Joe Welch, and um, I'm actually, my company is called Ask Joe. I'm an action verb. 
Um, on the company I'm representing today is actually my teenagers. My teenager is a non-binary teenager. Their name is JQ. Their pronouns are they and them. So JQ and a friend uh, met a few years ago, fell in love. My, they are passionate about theater and LGBT. I'm, not, I'm signing and speaking at the same time. LGBT. <laughs> um, identities, communities, lifestyle, and they wanted to put something together. They fell in love with a show called Be More Chill that really spoke to them as teenagers, and that passion has driven them to here. So, um, hold one second. Joe, I am a thespian, you know. <laughs> Thank you, yes, I do. So am I, and my teenager, <laughs> JQ, is about to be uh, in, in, inducted. Uh, within a few months to thespian. But just give me one second. And so what I just said uh, in, in English is that my, the teenagers are incredibly passionate about theater. They're, they are um, also an LGBT organization for teens. Right now, we're considered nationwide because we're here in Boston, but we're also in New York, and we're planning on expanding that remote side, the remote side of things, and then also having a show here in Somerville. And they're also learning how to run a business through the act of running a business. So much like we're talking about all these other things, I don't remember ever growing up and knowing how to run a business, how to take that into totally. consideration. So, um, so we're kind of, bu we're building all of that in right now. And so our goals is we're also trying to raise money um, to be able to get the license, which is already like over two grand, even for the smallest house. We're looking to raise money for um, the house itself. Where are we gonna have it? We've been looking at some affordable places, but like schools are not open during the summer. Um, we are going to be traveling, bringing people from other places, um, you know, so there's a lot of costs involved and especially for kids, like the money thing is a huge barrier because, you know, everything's a barrier. Yeah. So let me just put that into sign language. Yeah. And so then also to say, much like what Kim and Jackie said, that that kind of in-kind donation is actually very valuable. We are, our goal is to host it here in Somerville, Massachusetts. That's our hometown, so there's a lot of passion, including the name called Mystic River Theater. That's like, that's Boston, right? <laughs> um, so if there are people who are local who are listening who have a location that's accessible, um, who are willing to, like that's a wonderful first thing to get off the plate. Um, we do have to hire a director, choreographer, to some extent, people who are able to do a lot with a little. We do want to give stipends to the, the teenagers who are involved because it's their, you know, they're teenagers and it'll be during the summer and it's going to take time and they need resources as well. We're providing food. We're trying to do that holistic view of business mm -hmm. so that it's not a hardship for them to want to be a part of something. And with that foundation, we'll allow way more to happen in a short so, amount of time. Give me one more second, I'm just gonna finish that last piece and then I'll be able to ask, listen to your question. Todd, go ahead. And thanks again for your patience through all this. That was very cool. Uh, I, can almost, translation. I could almost understand what she was saying. How about you? <laughs> I was just curious, so just so we're clear, so this nonprofit is set up to create a theater company or a troupe, isn't it called a troupe? And then the idea is to provide the opportunity and to actually put on theater productions. That is true. That is correct. 
and our goal we're aiming towards the end of July of 2020. So you're looking for an actual brick and mortar building where this theater can be constructed, correct? It's not meant to be a permanent. Okay. So the, it's the troop that we're building, but we need the location for a show to be. Oh, built. okay. Very cool. You can rent a big tent in a field. I've done that. <laughs> it works. <laughs> nice. Well, maybe we should touch base back with Che here. She's been hanging out there in the atmosphere <laughs> for a little while. <laughs> so Che, I wanted to ask you a question about your Cultivating Wellness Center. Is yeah. it already built or are you no. seeking donations so that you can get this up and running? Yeah, I need, um, to, I'm looking to meet with the realtor today because he's going to show me a plot of land, tw a little over 21 acres for $20,000. Wow. And I, I've been taking patients into my home, but my home is not set up for this. Or I go to their home, or I'm trying to deal with them over the phone, or I'm going to some other state driving. It's it's not working. <laughs> it's not in the patient's best interest, and it's wearing me out. I need a place where patients can come and stay, you know, a period of three months, six months, even 12 months, it's their situation is that severe, where they can come and stay in a beautiful, naturally built, because I build everything, uh, I use natural building. Do you know what COB is, C-O-B? No, I don't. So if you see like the old Adobe homes, it's built with a mixture of clay, straw, sand, and water. Yeah, they're very beautiful, but the thing is, they're very inexpensive to build because, you know, mud is free. And um, there's no toxic elements in these homes. Because a lot of people are getting sick from their homes. This doesn't have these issues with the mold or the upkeep. Right. But the other thing, it's all being built off the grid as well. So so people who are um, are sensitive to like the EMFs and all, all this, there will be none of that there. And... I just need a place that I can create a, a, a place where they can come and, and heal and and not have to worry about their finances. So just you know just so we're clear, Jay, you are you are actually standing in a place where you're waiting for the real estate agent to show yeah. you this piece of property. So it's it's already and I don't happened. have twenty thousand dollars, so I need help fast. Yeah. You're starting Aww. out. Yeah, that's no, great. That's great. I'm I hope you get those donations, Jay, because it is such a worthy cause. I love the fact that you're working on the core problem, not just treating symptoms that people have, but why are they, why are they sick in the first place? I, yeah, unfortunately, yeah. the Western medicine has just not had the time to deal with those things and they just have to, you know, treat symptoms. And so I, yeah. I commend you so highly for what you're what you're doing and what you want to do are you going to be the only treating uh, i don't want to call you a physician necessarily but oh be, no no will there be other i have a whole there? staff yeah okay i have a Excellent. whole staff waiting of uh, professional staffs uh and they're all like when are we doing this when are we? i even have a doctor from australia that says i want to be a part of your staff wow. when are we going to do this so everyone's yeah. just waiting on oh. me to get some property uh, 2020 is your year, girl. It's going to happen yes. for you. <laughs> That's so great. Yeah, hold that vision. Yeah. All right. Should we go back to Brian? Let's do it. <laughs> Brian, you still hold on? <laughs> <laughs> what a waste of time. Uh, this is a wonderful collaboration. I'm loving this. Well, well Brian, I see, I, I have the advantage of seeing your bio. Our audience doesn't, but you have been involved in so many things in your life. And, and if they, they can see that you're wearing scrubs. So at the time that you had your death experience, you were actually a nurse, right? You were, you were I helping was a nurse. people, my, you my were helping people with brain injuries. Yeah, my license lapsed when I was in my coma. And, and, and again, don't make me cry. If I had not taken care of brain injury patients, I would have killed myself when I came out of my coma. It was horrible. I have a minor brain injury. But 
I, I, I'm a motivated guy. I'm coming back. I'm coming back strong, and I'm going to do something to make this world better for people with brain injuries. Man so how, on a mission. Yeah. How did it, it really change your life? Because I see that here that you were a professional speaker. You were a musician. You yep. swam the Nile River at the age at of the 54. source of the Nile. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You were, you were living this active, probably dreamlike lifestyle, right? And then this My happened to life. you. So how did, how did this change you? What, what, how do you contrast what life was like to what, what it's like now? Well, I've been a church going guy for a long time and singing the upstairs choir, stuff like that. But again, I went to hell. The music is terrible there. <laughs> um, I, I, I went to heaven. The music was much better. <laughs> and um, uh, again, I was, I, was, I was told I would be welcomed back. I just have a little business to finish up down here first. Okay, fine. Wow. Who can, I can't argue with that. So I'm, I'm working on a, 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 an invention that could get me a Nobel Prize. I don't care. I'll be dead. Um, um, I, I, and then I'm involved in bison, and I want to go out, and I want to spread the gospel about this. This is a big deal. Wow. Yeah, it seems, you know, you, you just have so much, so much passion and so much energy. And so what is it? What is it that is really compelling? What is really calling you to do? I, I've heard you have a book. You want to be a speaker. You're involved in the Bison Project. Let's try what to is it all about? Better place. What a concept, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just make the world a better place. And, and, and it, takes the, it takes people getting involved to do that. You can't right. just like watch and wait for somebody else to do it. You need to be involved. Yeah. Well, can you tell us how the Bison Foundation got its name? I know that John Byler was the person who had a very special experience. Do you remember that? Um, again, I can't remember much of anything, but the uh, brain injury support, operational neurological. We've all had brain injuries. We, we've been, we've all been, so many of us have been kicked to the curb and ignored and people say, oh, you look fine and we're not. We need to get the word out. There's, there's a huge number of us. What's, what's the number I said? Yeah, there's a million and a half more traumatic brain injuries every year. And in all due respect to all the people with their ads on TVs these days about their foundation is what, but the, uh, you know, for, for breast cancer, there are 10 times as many people having traumatic brain injuries as there are ladies with breast cancer. And I like breasts. So let me tell you, I'm a guy, I'm a nurse, <laughs> but, um, uh, and you know, there's 40, what, 43,000 AIDS, uh, patients every year. I've taken care of AIDS patients. I, I, my, I cry for them, but we're a huge ignored number and we need to get the word out. We need to work, make the world a better place, not just for us. We need to make the world a better place for everybody. Very cool, man. Mm. And if I may just add a little bit more to the, sure. to the bison. So this is Joe. Um, two critical points about the brain injury and where John comes from. First is that it needs to be accurate diagnosis. That's often where things go off the rails is they're not, people are not getting accurate, specific I, I diagnosis. John's a and classic case, misdiagnosed. And the second piece is the, uh, the customizable, custom plan of care for a person. Because again, you know, they say if you've met one person with traumatic brain injury, you've met one person. Everyone is different. Very much like what uh, Che was saying about her, her clients as well. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of similarities I'm picking up on between Brian, John, and Che with their thoughts and ideas and their ability to reach and then help people. It almost seems to me like the person is actually part and orchestrating their own path for wellness. Hmm. And they need because help. I, because right, everybody's and, different, right, and support. Well, and that's, that's part of the, the bigger picture. So, John, so let me just tell the story again. I know we're, I'm being cognizant of time. So John's story about uh, the bison. So give me one second. Doing first an ASL.
So his story is about that after his accident, he had, was out in a field and he had taken a nap under a tree and bison approached him and just kind of took him all in. And he felt that their message was come into our herd. We're going to take care of you. Yep. And that that thematically is how the bison came to be. The wow. S in bison is about support. So while people are trying to manifest their own, when you have all of these other um, illnesses, the difference in brain and thinking there, I mean, everyone is starting a whole new life. Yeah. It's a brand new life. And without the support, what you get is loss. You have people at different places in their lives that can't, just can't anymore. They're doing something different. And they and so, take their lives. And they do. They, they take their lives. Their lives leave them. And the support is not there. It's not consistent. And the bison in the support and organizational pieces are about um, coming, being present at all levels, holistically, the spiritual life, the physical life. And as Kim mentioned, the financial life and all of, the th all of those things influence who we are at our core. Right. And so the goals that John had is to build something that surrounds somebody and allows them to, I would say, these are my words, but like be reborn into a new world with all those new skills and supports uh, there. And, and not after a crash and then a second crash of your life, your money, your business, and then having to figure it out with even less resources. Yeah. Huh. New skills, new skills is something Jackie and I've had many guests on the show that have talked about brain injury and we've, we've discussed that. And you know what I gather from that is it's an opportunity. And I'm glad you said that with exploring new gifts, because a lot of times there's some very magical things that come from new awareness, new faculties that are being developed and explored and then talking to others about it and inspiring them to follow that path. And I think that's a lot what Brian is all about. And well, and speaking of talking, I just got my brochures back this morning for my speaking <laughs> tour. That out. There you go. And I'll do a shameless plug. I want to come out. I want to talk to your group. And if it's a nonprofit, you don't really know, I'll do it for free. If you're a bunch of doctors, you got to pay me a lot of money. <laughs> I need the dough. <laughs> okay so we only my friends we only have about five minutes left and kim has been there so patient so look at that big smile <laughs> so happy and so but kim why it, it sounded to me like you've had some successful businesses some for-profit businesses why would a person consider a non non-for-profit and and why did you make this choice to go in that direction Oh, there are really so many reasons. Um, we wanted to be able to help people that cannot afford the traditional services in a for-profit corporation. And also the trend is that companies are becoming more socially conscious. And so when they're right. making decisions about purchases, they're actually looking for companies that are doing good in the world. And so we wanted to create a place, a space with passion to help people that spoke to that new movement in industry. So that's really why we did it. And you know, one thing that just kind of came to me um, when everyone was talking about the things that were going on and the, the brain injuries and the accidents, um, one of my core beliefs is that life happens for you, not to you. Yeah. And so, I believe that in the things that we perceive in the moment as horrible things are really gifts when you start to look at them and unpack them. So, I mean, it just really came to mind and to my heart that, you know, there's no accident that we're all together here. And I think there's a real opportunity from all of our vantage points to really create some positive change on the planet. So I'm just, I'm thrilled to be here. Yeah. Thank you. Good. That's awesome. Well, maybe we should go around the room one more time. Uh, let everybody say their website or the way that our listeners could get to them to make a donation. Or My name is Todd email. Allen of Life. <laughs> Not <Mastery>. you. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's start with Che. Che, what was your website? And I think and she what, dropped off, Jackie. Oh, she, did oh, she? Yep. Oh, darn it. 
I hope she's meeting with her real estate. She's agent. meeting with the real estate agent. We're going to hold Thank that you. energy for Excellent. her. And I'm easy. It's Brian A. Hansen, all one word, B-R-I-A-N, like brain but damaged, A. Hansen, H-A-N-S-O-N, at hotmail.com. Perfect. Okay, great. And Joe, tell us um, how to get a hold of you or your, your teenager about their program. Thank you so much. So um, my website is askjoe.org. And more importantly, Mystic River Theater Company is Mystic River Theater with the E-R dot org. We also have a GoFundMe page that's under Mystic River Theater First Show. Um, and I think that's, those are ways, even if you find me, I will lead you to them. And in terms of Bison Foundation, again, that's on Facebook. And we'll be sure to give all of our links to uh, Jackie and yeah. Todd. So they'll put in the links. Yeah, we'll, um, put it on Bison Foundation, hmm? we'll put it on today's show page at www.lifemasteryradio.net. Life Mastery radio.net. Yep, or dot com. And so, um, bisonfoundation.org or on Facebook, the Bison Foundation. Foundation. Very cool. Okay, we're coming down to three minutes. And Shay, can you tell us where people can get a hold of you? She's one gone. Last... So let's go to Kim. Nope, she's yeah. back. Um, oh, she's back. Oh, there she is. Oh, perfect. Uh, nowhere so my my signal's not so good oh, but sorry. um yeah so you can you can also go to my website oh can you hear me now yep. hello try it. go for it okay. try, try the website again the, web, the website is the wellness center dot org it does have a donate button you can call my uh, cell phone, 720-662-1511. Nice. Thank you so Thank much you for that. showing up to, and take, making that effort. Kim, quick and dirty, you know the deal. <laughs> Rebound Financial Resources. Rebound you can find us at reboundfinancialresources.org. We have a donate button there. And also our gift to your audience is to email us at info at reboundfinancialresources.org uh, and put in the subject line, send me the book. And we will give you FICO information that will help Am you. Am I eligible for that? Do I Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness thank you so much for coming on the show today this has been fun jackie and i've never done anything quite like this but i think we got it figured out and we're getting in the groove so maybe we'll do more of it and we would love to consider the idea of having you back both as individuals and we can dig in a little bit deeper into your cause and and what it is that you're all about jackie did you have fun today you I did. did. It's great. You did this. You know you did this. Yeah. <laughs> and I my shameless my shameless plug is just be sure to think about access every time you set anything up. It should be one of the first things, not the last. Cool. Thanks. Thanks for listening to the show today. I hope you got some great thoughts and ideas for you to use on your very own life mastery journey. The links will all be at today's show page. You can go there and find each person individually and like them, share them, talk about them, or connect with them. Lastly, do me a big favor and make it a great day because it's all about choice. And choose to tune in again next week. We have another awesome guest. Jackie and I will be back next week, 10 a.m. Same bat channel, same bat time. <laughs> See you later. Bye, Alligator. everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you for tuning into Life Master.